Guatemala's Congress burns as protesters run riot inside, vandalising the seat of government before being dispersed by riot police. The attack on Congress is the culmination of a day of fury against the government and President Alejandro Giamatte, with thousands rallying outside the National Palace in the capital. We are tired. There is no other way to show our repudiation how fed up we are. We are tired of so much abuse by the authorities. Guatemala cries blood. The people are fed up with being trampled on for over 200 years. Fueling their anger is next year's budget, which was passed by lawmakers last week. It slashes spending on health care, education and the justice system and increases public debt in a year of economic crisis brought on by back-to-back -back hurricanes and the coronavirus pandemic. Police tear-gassed protesters eventually managing to move the crowds on. Gia Mate is standing by the budget, but his own vice president opposes it and is even suggesting they step down. We should both present our resignation, the president and I, to the position of vice president of the republic. But we should do it together to discard those seditious ideas that people say are held or that they think I want to hit him to keep this position. The Congress building was empty at the time of the attack. It's not yet known how bad the damage is. The government, too, is assessing the damage, but this mounting opposition could prove a fatal blow. Floyd Cush, TRT World.